Shorty, how you doing? Um, today's video is going to be about the Dollar Tea Club. I was about to say Dollar Tree again, like I did last video. No, Dollar Tea Club. So I got my um envelope in for my um for my tea samples and stuff. Um, it looks like they're gonna be coming in late, between the end of the month, between the first week of the of the first month. It all depends because they ship out at the end of the month but because of the pandemic that's the reason why they've been so late on bringing them but since this is my second subscription that is what I've realized and what I have come across to to why they come out late and why I have it now um so yeah let's get right to that video um sorry if I'm not prepped for today's video but it's laundry day and if you don't hear it that's my dryer Unfortunately, this is the only place where I record and do all of my videos, but since today is laundry day and this is the only time I really get to have like some me time to get these videos done, then so be it. But excuse the dryer noise, but I got to get my clothes done too, you know. But um yeah, this is the envelope. It is a dollar for the tea samples. I think it's a do another dollar 99 for like 5 filters and another dollar for I think some honey sticks or something like that if you want those um, other than that shipping is about three to four bucks total so depending on what you get you can go rounding from five to six seven dollars depending on what you choose to go with your samples every month but um yeah why don't we get tasting to these videos and stuff because I know I want to I've been having to sit there for a couple days already, so let's get to this box because I got more boxes coming in soon this week. So, what do we have but this month of May, although it is the first week of June, going on the second already, so you know I'm late. But this is May's tea box subscription. So, let's see, do we have a pamphlet? So we have the filters that they come in with. These are the filters I was talking about. And they come five for just like a dollar, I think. Um, if you want more than just five filters, you can order more five filters. But I have my own personal tea thing to put the loose tea in. But these are what they look like. They're very soft. I love the way they feel. They're perfect. Um, if you want like 20 bags of filters or a little less than that, I think they round from like a dollar to three dollars, depending on how many. I think the 20 is two something, two or three something. I, I'm not if I'm not wrong. Um, but at the end of this video, I'm going to leave down all the descriptions for Dollar T. Um, I'm going to lead you with the link if I can. Um, I'm also going to have all my other links to all my other subscriptions going to be down on the description buttons. Um, I'll leave all codes behind if you guys are interested in joining in any of those things. Um, because if you do, you know, you make it discounts just for joining in and using my codes or whatever. But, yeah, these are the filters that we have for this. Next, we're going to have Mocha Rocha. Mocha Rocha. It has Robius cocoa bean pieces, decaffeinated coffee, um, calendula petals, no natural flavors, organic complaint. I was going to say neutral, but it's natural. Excuse me. But um, it says this product may contain traces of almonds and nuts. So if you guys are allergic to these type of ingredients, I suggest that these will not be the tea for you. But that's what it says for the mocha... I'll leave it like this for a couple seconds because I need to screenshot it. But that's the first tea that I have for the sample. Next we have Peaches and Dream. Apples, rose ship, hibiscus, and peach pieces, cameling, petals, and natural flavors, organic complaint. This product also contains almonds and nuts. So again, if you're allergic, this is not the tea for you. This is the type fruit. Did I say it? Oh yeah, I did say the type 
for the um, other one as well. The type of tea for this one, for the mocha, is the Robius type of tea. And this one's a fruit type of tea. And that's what you call peaches and cream. This is what the sample looks like for now. It's, uh, sorry if it's all over the place, but that's what it looks like for now. Next, we have last but not least, dun, 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 birthday cake. Black tea, candy, calendula, and sunflower petals, and safflower petals with natural flavors or organic complex. This product may also contain almonds and nuts. So, this tea is type black, and this is what it looks like. Make sure we have a good clarification on what that looks like. Is there anything else in here? No. There isn't because I didn't order any honey sticks. So, those are all the ingredients that I have for this month's Dollar Tree Club. Dollar Tea Club. Again, I don't know why I keep saying tree. Dollar Tea Club. I will keep repeating myself, dang it. But these are all three of the teas that they have. So, let's get to it. We are going to taste it now. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, out of all of them, the least favorite that I'm probably not going to like will probably be Peaches and Dream. I do not have um, a good palette for peaches. I, I don't know. I guess I just don't care. Like, I like natural peaches, don't get me wrong. But when it comes to certain other things, like drinks, and they're not my biggest thing when it comes to that. Maybe because they make they mess up the flavors of the peaches or something. It could be that. But um, I don't know if you guys can see here. But this is what it looks like for Peaches and Dreams tea. It looks pretty delicious, doesn't it? It smells really good. Question is, does it taste good? So, let's see. I'm going to put these bags, I'm going to put these in a filter and put it in my cup right here. And I am using this honey. Which is this one's hives. Um to table, high to table, 100% pure raw honey and comb because there's a comb in there. I almost dropped it. Dang it. I'm clumsy. Don't mind me. But let me get this set because I'm about to taste this one. Be right back. All right, everyone, I'm back. So the tea's been sitting in for about three to five minutes, like it says. It says to leave for about three to five minutes within a temperature of 100 C degrees, which is 212 Fahrenheit. But I don't have a thermometer to do that, so I'm going to do it to the best of my knowledge, to its taste. So, here's my tea. Let's see if we like it. Very light. Maybe it's because of how much I put in. But it's a light tea flavor. It tastes really good. I did not expect it to taste good at all because I don't like peach flavors very much. But as a tea flavor, I think if I just don't overdo it on flavor, because I try not to put too much of the loose tea in it either. Because I wasn't trying to overpower the taste. So the way I did it, I think it's perfect. And I love more herb tea, but I've never really been on the whole fruity part, so I'm still learning more about teas. That's the reason why I signed up for this. You know, explore. <laughs> so yeah, that one tastes really good. Really good. So we're going to go on to the next tea. So I thought I'd go with birthday cake next. Why birthday cake? Because I want to leave this one the last. So we're going to go with birthday cake in first, and we are going to put it in the filter, and we are going to um, taste it and see how it looks. Not how it looks, but how it tastes in general. It does smell like birthday cake. It really does. So I don't know if you guys can see what the tea looks like from inside, but that's what it looks like. Like literally like. And it smells like birthday cake, like really good. So I can't wait to taste this. So let me put this in the filter, come back, and we're going to taste this sucker. And after that, we got one more. Be right back. All 
right, everyone, I'm back. So we got my tea ready. Um, birthday cake says timing for two to three minutes. Also, 100 um, C's to 212 Fahrenheit as well with temperature. It's the same as the peaches and cream. So we're going to taste this birthday cake one. I'm hoping it's going to be good because, you know, it's birthday cake. But, you know, words are always the same when you taste, you know. I'll tell you one thing and next thing you know when you taste it, you're like, it's not even ex nothing like that. The way that person just told me, you know. It tastes like birthday cake, but I don't know. Like it's sweet. Well, that's what birthday cake is supposed to taste, sweet and cakey. So if that's what they're going for, I think it's on point. It probably would have been more if I would have added more, but I didn't add that much. But I think I did add a little bit too much honey. So that's probably what took off my flavor. But other than that, it tastes, um, it tastes pretty good. This is something I would drink maybe here and there, not as an all the time thing. That's probably because I really don't care for cake that much either, so. Don't get me wrong. I make cakes. I cook them. I'll eat them. But are they my favorite thing? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Maybe chocolate cake. I'm, I have an addiction to chocolate. I love chocolate. But, I, but you won't catch me eating it all the time either. Because... Junk food and sweets aren't my thing. Although I do have a strong addiction to hot Cheetos, so. Mm -hmm. But, what do I say about this tea? I say it's good. If you have a sweet tooth and you prefer something like this, this is your go-to. Most definitely your go-to. But it tastes pretty good so far, but. As a constant tea drinker, to drink it on a constant basis? No. This will be something for, like, when I have a sweet tooth or something and I'm craving for it, you know? But, other than that, we're going to go back on to the next tea. And we're going to go with Mocha Rocha. Or Rocha, however you say it. And um, we're going to open this one up and we're going to put it in the filter as well. This is supposed to be like a chocolate type of coffee combined, like cocoa bean. Mmm, it smells so good. But how well would it taste with the honey? That's the question. I think with something like this, you would have to put, like, milk. A little bit of milk or something. Yeah, I think so. Oh, it tastes... It's, well, it doesn't taste, but it smells really good. That's what it looks like. It's the cocoa bean mixed with the coffee and the petals and all that stuff that it has in there. That's pretty much what it looks like. Some of it spilled. Uh, I was trying to put a little bit to the front, but some of it's both. It's just a teeny bit. That's okay. But that's what it is. I'll be right back, and I'm gonna make this, and let's see what it tastes like. Hey everyone, I'm back. All right, so this one's the last one, and we're gonna taste it and see what we think, and then I'm gonna tell you if it's gonna be a three out of three, a uh, three out of two. I mean, not 3 out of 3. Anyway, I'm going to tell you if it's going to be a 3 out of 3, 2 out of 3, or 1 out of 3. I would say backwards for some reason. I don't know why. But we're going to taste the seat and see what it tastes like. So, here goes my third cup. You know, like my smiley face one. <laughs> Alright, it smells really good actually. Whew. I'm drinking hot tea on a hot day. Trust me, this face is shining with oils. Because I am sweating. This has a very smooth. You could taste the coffee beans. Or the cocoa beans if you want to call it. 
it's not if you want to call it, it's how you call it, let me correct myself, um, yeah, you take the cocoa beans, the coffee, not sure about the petals, maybe I'm tasting petals, I'm not sure if that's that flavor I'm, I'm tasting, But this type of tea is robust as well as the peaches and cream. So I have two robust and one black. Um, this one was for 46 minutes. Same temperature as the rest. Same as the rest. So what do I say out of this? I'm going to have to say it is going to be a two out of three. It is a two out of three. I'm very happy with my tea subscription. I absolutely love all these new flavors coming in. I really do. Um... But other than that, that's all I have for today. I appreciate you guys for coming. And thank you for lasting this long on my video and just watching me just taste tea. Um, like I said, I'm going to leave the descriptions down below. If you guys are new, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below, follow me on IG if anything. And um, I'm going to see you guys later because it's time to walk my dog. So... Talk to y'all later. Bye.